Tim Cruz, Cruise Reviews. We're going to talk about Virgin Cruises Scarlet Lady. Now, this is not about the most beautiful beach ever. It's not about me almost crashing the ship into an iceberg in the Caribbean. It's dyslexia. It's not about the drag show. Yes, there are drag shows on Virgin. which is, They're great, actually. It's not about the crickets they put in the drink purposefully or me eating one. It's not about the vibrators they sell in the retail stores or the fact that you can hijack a DJ booth or sing in a private karaoke room. It's not about getting lost in this wizard world carnival maze of mirrors and lights which you will get disoriented in. It's not about being stuck in this secret brig outside of Richard's rooftop and begging to get out after three days of nothing but champagne. It's not about the bubbly elevators, which are really cool. And they have projectors on the floor too. That's really cool. Projectors in the ceiling going down to the floor. So it's not about that at all. We're here to talk about the brilliant suite. Can we get some footage? Oh, look, it has a 13th floor and no one died sailing on the 13th floor you're lucky but actually we had some uh, casino winners who were staying on the 13th floor too there are suites up there yeah. so you got to be pretty lucky to be able to afford a suite to stay on the 13th okay. floor okay so let's take a walk down the pinkish purple hallways it was interesting they didn't change color i thought they changed oh <gasps> pineapple you know what that means and it's upside down so let's go in 14 2 7 through 2 3 7 i told you dyslexia z the brilliant suite now, immediately, you're going to see it's very, very spacious. We walked into a couple other people's suites and not nearly as spacious as this, especially the ones on the end of the boat. And they come pre-supplied with bottles of liquor and water. You have one sparkling, one plain spring water, and it's really nice. I don't know if it's spring, but um, it comes with a record player and a nice set. Well, I took a bad guess here on uh, records, but you can change those out by talking to your rock star agent, which you do get in the um, rock star suites or mega rock star suites. You can scratch, but they're really not weighted for that. I wish they put 1200s in here. But look at the size of the room. This will actually sleep four. I think that couch pulls out that we didn't try it. Uh, the bed is a real king. It's a full king. It's not two mattresses slapped together. And it's pretty long, too. The TV does pull out on the reticulating arms. You could swing this just about anywhere you want or just pop it back there in the corner out of the way. Uh, you do have a mostly American outlets and a bunch of USBs here. So that was really nice. It's almost like this boat was designed for Europe, but deployed in the United States. It's really bizarre because it has a 13th floor. No American buildings or ships have 13th floor because people are weird. Drawers all over the place underneath the bed. Um, there's a couple in the cabinets too. And you pop your seat suitcases underneath this side of the bed. And we saw this already, but you've got switches there. And uh, there's the suitcases, right? Right underneath. Nice, right? So it's not too... The only problem I have with the bed is you keep running into the corner. It's a square corner. And every time you try to turn that corner, we I bruised my leg a bunch of times. And everybody complains about that, too. No big deal, right? And uh, look at this bar setup. These two drawers are nothing but glassware and mixing stuff. And you can ask your Rockstar agent for mixers, too. And you can create your own bar in your room and not have to buy many drinks outside. And, of course, there's a refrigerator, too. We put Coke in the refrigerator the first day and came back, and we saw it was supplied and filled with Coke, so they are paying attention. More drawers here and drawers underneath this area, too. And uh, let's take a look at the closet. Pretty spacious. A lot of room to hang things on, and there is a safe in here. And, again, a couple more drawers in the bottom and a shelf up top. It's really nice. I mean, they really did some smart use of this space. Not to mention the, the, the room is huge. And look at this bathroom, right? opulence the shower is a walk-in it has a rain head in the ceiling and a little uh handheld wand and it's tremendous pressure great temperature never ran out of hot water which is well not new sheets you're not going to imagine what the ladies can do with that thing huh? <laughs> and uh you control the rain from this valve here not too much pressure on the rain the handheld wand is you can do your cleaning with if you want pressure but it's really nice to have both of those options nice long vanity with under vanity storage that was nice as well so your stuff doesn't have to clutter your counter and a separate potty room with a mirror door now you think this is glass when you look at it you can't see through this at all you can't see in or out of that too they do a lot of things with mirrors on virgin i don't know why i guess branson has a hard-on for mirrors who knows but it's neat looking right 
Now, the only problem we have with the bathroom is you can see inside. Now, you're not going to have kids on this thing, but if you're staying with friends, somebody's going to see your wife's nipples because that shower is clear and there's no way to close that if you don't steam it up, I guess. Here's the air conditioner. It got pretty cold most of the time. I think our last night was a little weird. And you have your do not disturb and make up my room buttons, which change colors on the outside, which is nice. And you can control basically everything in your room, including your TV from this iPad kind of thing that sits next to your bed. You control your lights. You can uh, set moods. You can adjust your temperature. You can even call for a uh, service if you need towels or everything everything is on this smart device that's pretty nice and of course your it's opulence come on it's a suite if your curtains don't open in the suite you're sailing on the wrong ship but it's a very 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 nice room we were very very pleased again this is the brilliant suite there are several different classes of suites um based on how much space is in the room but this was just laid out perfectly it was very very nice so uh let's take a look at the patio it is a double patio so double the width not the depth but it was plenty fine enough you could stretch your legs out here too and of course every one of these balconies comes with a hammock which uh felicia figured out of course i'm a big burly man so i had a hard time with it <laughs> You can swing a little bit and ride. It's a great place to take a nap. It is actually surprisingly comfortable. Great view here. No obstructions. We're on the 14th floor, so way above the lifeboats. Plenty of room for two chairs. No loungers here, but you could ask for one. Um, I understood, but there wouldn't be enough room out here. You'd have to put it sideways. But still, really, really nice. Now, this is under the 15th floor, and all the parties happen on the 15th floor, so... Uh, if you're allergic to noise, it's probably not a great location. But here's uh, me. Of course, Felicia figured it out. I'm a little cooped up in this thing. I didn't take a hammock 101. But you can hear the bass thumping here. And it'll show the time on my watch. So if you're an early sleeper, they usually cut everything off by usually by midnight or one the latest. And uh, it didn't bother us, too. So brilliant suite on Virgin Cruises. <laughs> It's an awesome suite, an awesome ship. Check the rest of our video reviews on this ship, um, on this channel. And please like, subscribe, and tell all your friends. Thanks, and see you on the open seas. Bye.